Screw you, shark. This is my water. Get out of here. You're not even fighting me. You're running scared. All right, it's about time, guys. We go after something really, really big and strong because we need to start prepping for the boss fight. And I'd prefer to start doing it now. <clears throat> Sorry, pardon me. Rather than uh, later when we get too close, like after doing all the artifacts and then I've got to wait for all my mutations and whatever I'm trying to do at the time. So yeah, let's try and uh, let's try and get stuck in. So look, I've convinced myself to make a choice and I've decided to go with Spinos. Because we're doing a sort of water-based series, I thought the water-based, uh, you know, Apex Predator might sort of be the, well, you know, semi-aquatic one anyway, might be the one to go with. So I actually am pretty keen to see how they fare against the bosses. A lot of people have been commenting saying Spinos did awesome with them anyway, so, you know, I'm pretty sure the boss on this map isn't stupidly hard anyway. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure, like, the, the, the Alpha Dragon and Overseer fight on the island are probably harder. And probably the Alpha Broodmother on its own on the island is probably more difficult as well. Like, I think this mount, this one is the one with two bosses, right? I've never actually done it before. It's the one with uh, the Broodmother and the Megapithecus, right? Am I making that up? Hopefully not. Um, yeah, so we're going to go for them. Um, look, I do remember seeing one, um, a high level, and I think I swear I've seen a second high level somewhere as well, but we really haven't seen that many Spinos, so... Um, I'm gonna go to where the first location was, and if I can't remember where the second was, but second one was by then, I might just quickly have a squeeze through my footage and see if I can remember when that was. I feel like it was when we would- I swear it's on Volcano Island somewhere, when we were going for Pyromanes, like, the first time. I swear. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yes. I might have a quick- I might even go for a quick look around Volcano Island, maybe. But, you know, I also don't want to scour the entire map because the Spinos are not that common. If we were going for Rexes, we would have no hard time at all trying to get high levels today. Uh, Theories could potentially be not that bad either, but, you know, we're going Spinos, the rarer one, so... Ugh, not looking forward to that. But hopefully the one that I remember where it was is uh, is still there, which was by the Kairuku up north. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to be going and having a look at them. Um, not much has changed with the base, or in fact, nothing's really changed with the base, except I've built a, uh... Well, I built one thing, which is, let me just show you. Let me just park you there. I built a cooker. That's about it. Because I wanted to make kibble, and I'm so sick of doing it, like, one at a time with water. Um, so, yeah, I did that, and we've got so much now. I had plenty of Uteranus eggs. Um, there's probably, you know, more coming as well. We have plenty of honey and everything now, so... We're good to go. Now, what do I need? I've got uh, spare soul ball thingies. Uh, I've got behemoth gates. I'm thinking that's how I'm going to do it. Just try and trap it in those. Um, pretty sure they don't fit through normal gates, right? I swear. They're, they're massive, right? They Surely they don't. Um, yeah, and I'm going to use the pyromane that's on my shoulder. I've got plenty of trank arrows. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got... Uh, let me go to your inventory. Yeah, I've got plenty more narcotic. And I've always got creatures that can gather that for me anyway, like the narco berries. So, yeah. Uh, spare arrows. I've got uh, bullets and darts anyway. I've got... I think that's everything I need. So, without further ado... Oh, hang on. No, I know something we need. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, fur. So, let's grab you, 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 and you. And... Just in case we need it, Gilly. There we go. All right, we've well, got all our spare armor. You know what I have noticed? The center really is not that bad uh, in terms of uh, in terms of temperature. Like the island was rough, really, really rough. And Scorch was obviously just off the charts. Like Scorch was just ridiculous. Like something was very broken there. Simply because of the fact that like you shouldn't have to have sixty points of fortitude and like you know insanely like you know at least journeyman um desert cloth armor or like ghillie and or like you know even a couple of ascendant pieces of ghillie with like 200 you know armor which you know which means they have pretty good um uh what is it the insulation as well but even with all of that it's still too hot like and i'm not talking about heat waves i'm just talking about just throughout the day the temperature just got up to like 70 so yeah i'm sure you guys all played scorched anyway on this but you know, if you hadn't, yeah, brutal. <laughs> um, it's kind of nice just playing something that's just so much more moderate. You know, what temperature is it now? 33 degrees. You know, it's like it's warm, but it's manageable, right? 
Especially with the pyromane. I keep forgetting that's on my shoulder. And that is insulating me from... You know, it, it's actually very strange. I don't know if I like this or not. But, you know, it's another one of those things, right? This creature is controversial enough as it is, but... Does it even make sense that it protects you from both hot and cold? Like, why does it do that? You know, I understand it protecting me from the cold, but I don't understand it protecting me from the heat as well. Like, it's literally saying the logic is that you're wearing something that's hot, so it's protecting you from more hot. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, but with, you know, with the cold, it's obviously, it's like, cool, I'm, I'm literally cuddled with fire. So, you know, it's obviously insulating me from the cold. So, you know, I get that. I like that. But that's, yeah, that's probably the only thing I... I would be okay with there. Anyway, I'm still loving the pyromane, by the way. Like, it's... It's good. Like, I, I, it's it's just so versatile. Like, I actually think it's freaking useful. Like, I love the fact that I can, you know, quickly switch between riding it and putting it on my shoulder. Like, instantly, without really having to do anything. Like, that's probably the best part. And, you know, it's a good caving creature as well. Like, it's strong. You know, it's not insanely overpowered or anything like i don't think it's it's too op in terms of that the, the you know there are things i just don't think i like though like the flamethrower ability like on pvp that would be insane so i do feel for you guys with that and uh you know i i understand why you would all hate that if you pvp players i get it i totally understand but yeah i'm pve so you know i get to enjoy things just as they are on here am i you know just by myself on the map so yeah oh anyway guys i think i'll stop blabbing your ear off now um let's just i need to go pretty much just next to green obelisk there's that little uh, glacier lake where the penguins are and i just want to go there and um yeah see if that spino is still around i'm sure it will be well i hope so anyway let's see <laughs> it's been a little bit since i've been up here okay we're approaching it like like well we're approaching the area now. Now, where was it? It was, I think it was around the other side on one of these little icebergy thingies, like the small icebergs anyway. Um, is it around here? No. no. I think it was further around, to be honest. Also, I should have brought a club, but I always forget to bring my club. There's a spino. Are you it? Yeah, there's a little iceberg. Aha. 145 female. Okay, good to go. So, I'm very nervous about this. Like, Spino Taming is not something I thoroughly enjoy. <laughs> um, they're, they're big, like, they're fast, they're scary. You know, I, I really just want to be trying to be a little bit careful right now. <laughs> um, so let's get our trap ready. And also, placing Behemoth Gates is awful. I'm sure we all know that. But yeah. Okay. Can I just... Hang on, disable snapping, don't you dare. Oh, no. Okay, hang on. Okay, I think that's good. I don't think a Spino is going to be able to get through there. So, happy days. Let me just place the first... Oh, my God. Let me just put them on my hotbar, actually. That is where I wanted them. And there is also a Uteranus hanging around. I don't like that. Where is it? Uh, you are pretty far away. But I want you to go the opposite direction and not towards me. Because I don't really want you coming down when I'm halfway through knocking this dude out. Oh, there's two of them there. Come on, do you have to exist? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, so listen, what I'm going to try and do, I think, I don't, actually, I don't even know. I might just get around the front here. Oh, we can fly out. Ooh. That might be good, actually. If I can get it just to follow me on the RG, I just need to make sure I don't hit the water. If I hit the water, I'm in so much trouble. Uh, also, is this fighting other things? All right. Can you come after me? Come on. Oh my god, you're not going to, are you? Um. Let me just park it in here. 
Can I just get a shot off? You know what? I've changed my mind. I might just try and be smart and use the Baryonyx. Um, this Baryonyx is not very strong though, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. But anyway, let's see what happens. Let's get into the freezing cold water. All right, there's penguins everywhere. Come on, stupid pro- Come here! Okay, what is this thing trying to fight anyway? Alright, is it after me now? Yes, I think it is. That's it. Come for me. Alright, should have just done this to begin with. You know, using flyers to try and lure things never works anyway. Okay, no, now you're after penguins again. Come on. Do I have to help you? Okay, come on. Get up here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Follow me in. That's it. There we go. Alright, let me out. <laughs> okay, you're not getting out of there, right? God, I hope not. All right, I'm going to stay mounted just so if anything sneaks up on me, they're not going to ruin my butt. But uh, yeah, let's go. These things are quite a bitch to knock out as well. Well, they drain Torpor stupidly fast anyway. But yeah, I might just try and space my shots a little bit. Yeah, but we got it though. 145 Spino trapped. Good start to the day. We just need to get a mail now. You know, this thing actually looks quite hurt. So I'm just going to slow down for a second. Okay, no, 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 you're actually okay. Let me out. And there we go. That actually really wasn't that bad. That's good. Shut up, music. Uh, you know what? I don't even know how many... I'm just going to put 10 in and see how that goes. We'll need to wait for one feed, I guess. Uh, also, I might just drop off... Two stacks of that. We're going to let the Torpor drain down a fair bit and then we're going to feed it in some of that. You definitely need Torpor for these dudes. Um, yeah, but I'm going to also see what the kibble situation is. Uh, also, I might put Beyblade away. I'm, in fact, then maybe I'll just sit here and force feed Beyblade for a second, get its health back up, and then I'll put it away and switch to the Pyromain. Okay, there's our first feed. So that's going to be... So five would be 20 percent uh so i think that's gonna be six feeds right i just put that away for a sec pretty sure that's gonna be six feeds uh so we need five left in there right yeah okay well now it's gonna be the part where i just sit here and watch it for a while uh, i will have to put narcotic on that eventually um, but I'm just going to let that drain right down just so we don't have to waste so much narcotic. Alright, should be just about to wake up, I think. I did give it an extra 100, uh, just 100 narcotic just a minute ago. Well, not a minute ago, sorry, that was actually forever ago, but... I think it's Torpor's going back down again. So yeah, but we have proven we can do it with 100 narcotic and six, uh, six pieces of kibble. So there we go. Um, I don't really want to check that one yet. I just want to wait to see its stats until we go and find another one. Uh, so we can compare it against it. So, I'm sure I saw one. So, I I'm actually just going to go across to the Volcano Island. And I'm going to try and retrace my steps from when I was doing the, uh, the Pyromane Taming. I'm pretty sure I never saw one on the beach, so I can kind of rule that out. But it was, like, back around the island somewhere. Like, it was, like, back behind it, I think. <laughs> uh, also, I need to go more this way. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, well, we're here. I just landed for some stamina, so... I am currently here. Now, I'm thinking about this. I'm like... It's definitely like the inland parts somewhere, right? Like, or it's towards the northern coast. Definitely wasn't near the southern, but I'm thinking about it. I'm like, well, wouldn't it have been near water? 
And was it near the Red Obelisk? Do I remember that? I swear it was near Red Obelisk. I think. But anyway, I'm just going to try and hit up these two water things on the left, and I'll work my way along the back and then across to those right pools as well. But yeah, I just want to see, is there any Spinos here? Because yeah, I highly doubt that it's going to be scaly, like just walking along the island on the land. Um, just on their own. I don't know, it just seems weird to me that they would be. So, are there any Spinos here? Not seeing any. Just need to sort of go have a look a little bit away from it as well. No. Nah. Okay. Uh, what about up here? Are there any Spinos just chilling up there? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, let's go back towards the coast and trace our way around towards the other one. Uh, just in case it was sort of over here somewhere. Because, yeah, when I was looking for... Hello, Rexy. I keep seeing higher levels of these, by the way. They're just taunting me. <laughs> um, yeah, when we were looking for pyromanes, I, like, I went around the coast and went towards the... Uh, like, around the left side of the coast, and then I went around up the top. And I kind of went around the front, like, you know, I, I basically went inland a bit and sort of just scaled my way around looking for pyromanes. Um, and it was definitely somewhere there that I saw a high level Spino. I know I did. I am 100% confident. No, okay, I'm 90% confident. Shut up. <laughs> I don't like overconfidence. Um, actually, I think it was in a canyon somewhere. And this is heading towards a pool. Is it in here? It wasn't actually that long ago, so I feel like my memory hasn't- Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, my memory hasn't failed that much, has it? Nope. My memory is 100% intact. That is awesome. Okay. Well, we have a Spino to tame now. Is it safe, though? This is a very dangerous island. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to land here, and I'm going to get out my behemoth gates. What does it mean they're obstructed? By what? Can I really not put them in there? Okay. Good to know. Uh, there. Okay, we've ended up walking around the back. I didn't really want that. Uh, hello? I don't really want to put it there. Why is it forcing me? Oh, because it's getting stuck on the rock. Hang on. Can I just do this? Like that? Okay. Can I get out of here? Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Can't get out that one. Do I like that? I can't even really shoot the thing. Hold on, let me readjust this stupid trap. Okay, how's that? That is looking much, much better. Okay. Back gate on. Uh, you can... Go... Away. Although I really want you to eat that food. Why have you not eaten it yet? I left it in there for you. You stupid Argentavis. Come here. There we go. Okay, now you can go away. Uh, Pyromane. No, I can't do that. I wish you could do the shortcut from your, uh, like a keystroke. That would be really cool. But, is what it is. The world we live in. Um, can I just get your attention? Yep. Sure can. Get up here. Oh god, I'm gonna get stuck on everything, aren't I? Come here. Now, can I get out? Oh no. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Uh, hang on. Come here, fire man. Oh god, hang on. Wait, I should have just done this. What an idiot. <laughs> I was like, oh, I need to pick that guy up. How do I do that? I don't need to pick it up. I always forget. Okay. Anyway, time to start shooting this giant spiny lizard. I shouldn't call it that. That's actually the nickname of the, uh, thorny dragon. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway. Um, I kind of feel like I'm not being very clever right now by not riding my uh, Pyromane. I mean, stop it. Don't. Okay, I don't really like the whole launch, like, launch forward thing either. That's not really something I like. But yeah, I need to uh, space my shots with this dude as well. And there we go. That was weird. It didn't even, like, run away. <laughs> oh, God, I hate that. <laughs> That's what the music lasts. Anyway. Oh, hang on. You're not also gonna... Let me just whistle passive just to make sure. Um, this guy is reasonably hurt. Um, if I just do that and take one back out, we've got six kibble for you. Um, I might just grab all this meat as well and put it onto the pyromane. Which I will pull out. And it can continue cooking the meat. I really love that it does that. Oh, this thing is so versatile. Anyway, do we go have a look? Quick little look down at this lake while we're sitting around doing nothing. Is this a bad idea, actually? This could totally, like... Just imagine if there was a Giga or something. Yeah. I don't really want to go any deeper. Okay, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's just wait this out, I guess. There we go. Okay. You know what I just realized? I didn't even check what gender that was. I saw a higher level and went, yep, you're mine. Oh, thank God. The first one was a female, I know that. Second one was a male. So, how did we do on stats? Uh, unfortunately, these guys have got an oxygen stat, so... Yeah, at least they don't have movement speed anymore. That's so much better. Um, this one has got trash health and trash melee. That one is honestly horrible. The stamina is pretty good, however. Eh, yeah, okay. Uh, and you... Have exactly the same stamina but slightly higher health and melee. Ugh. I don't know. Okay, they're not great. That that melee stat's actually still really bad. I don't know where any more are. These are the only two that I remember. You know what? <laughs> Screw it. I'm using this. <laughs> uh, are there any more? See what I mean? There's hardly any Spinos even on the map. Oh. Oh. Okay. I mean, there's a third one back there. I didn't even... Was that the... Was it the 145? I swear the 145 was the one that I remember seeing. It was exactly where I remember seeing it. But I don't remember seeing a 140. Interesting. It's got a lot of... It's actually got higher stats in health and melee as well. Oh, God, that's so cheaty, the fact that that's a thing. Um... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to have to try and tame this thing. I don't, I'm not satisfied with the stats I've got. So, yeah. Hang on. Let me gamma up as well. Um, I don't know where it is, though. It's around here somewhere. Must be on the other side of this. Well, there's one of them. Because there's also two spinos around. Yeah, there, there it is. Okay. Good to know. Now, I don't know where another one is, though. But maybe I'll try not to worry about that. Maybe let's just tame it up here. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just go towards this corner. This is actually a nice little safe uh plateau. I say safe uh, not safe. <laughs> um, okay. Leave it with me, guys. I just gotta try and get this dude, uh well this girl all trapped and ready to tame. No, did I really just do that? Oh, come on, man. I shot it after it freaking went down. Oh, I haven't done that in so long. I'm gonna have to let it wake up. I don't, I'm not gonna be happy with it. Like, look at that, 83% taming effectiveness. Nah, not happening. I'm not wasting the kibble and the time letting that happen, so. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I'm going to let it wake up. Okay. Um, I just need to shoot the hell out of it now. Again, but very slowly. Because I have already heard it a ton. And, uh... 
Yeah, I'll have to use my magnifying glass as well just to make sure that it uh, should be okay. I should be able to hit it 20 times safely. Okay, I want to just go up and check this thing's torpor. Okay, very close. Oh. That should potentially make it go down. Maybe not. That will, though. <laughs> okay, we did it. Thank goodness. The good news is, though, I think this might actually be quite an insta-tame. I just want to make sure we're safe. There's an Argentavis down there. Um, because I've already starved it out once already. So... Five, six. Actually, how much is it per? Yeah, okay, now it's still six feeds. Look at that, see? Insta-tame! It may not be a full entertain though. Uh, can I grab all of you? Oh, I didn't even put the gate right on the front. <laughs> no wonder it was so trapped. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, hello, Quetzal. What level are you? I can't even tell from this distance. Well, that's a shame. Okay, um, yeah, it should be two more feeds, I think. But at least we shouldn't really have to worry about bumping its torpor back up. Yeah, two more feeds. And I really like the cyan on its tail, actually. There we go. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Didn't even cost narcotic on that one. We just had to use a lot more arrows and almost kill the poor thing. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting these things do jerky as well. Interesting. Um, okay, so, the third one was another female, and it was a lower level, yes? So, 209. Okay, that's better. A level, like, 40 into melee, it's still not amazing. What about 41 into... Oh my... Wait, no, that's Beyblade. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Sorry, never mind. Beyblade had such a good freaking stamina stat. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Beyblade's awesome. Okay. Um, so, oh, that's right, because it doesn't have oxygen. Never mind. So, yeah, um, so the, the best, where's the third? Hang on, I just need to do this, I think. There we go, that's easier. So, 217, so, like, the best health we have is 35, and the best stamina is still 44. The best, uh, melee is definitely now that 40. Now, what's the best weight we have? 33, 33, 36. On that one. Okay. Cool. I mean, well, we've just gotten a much better melee stat out of that, so I'm so glad we, uh, we, we just stuck that out and did that. Because that, you know, I was very much not happy with what we had before. I mean, I, I would settle. I'm always someone who settles, but, you know, I prefer not to if I can avoid it. Um... Also, am I still gamming up? No, I'm not. Good. Alright, um, time for me to get back to base now. Um, I kind of just want to combine their stats. And, uh, and then I wouldn't mind, uh, imprinting one and just taking it out for a quick spin. So anyway, I might see you guys on the flip side of all of that. Actually, no, I've changed my mind. I might just quickly show you guys, uh me setting up back at the base as well, because I feel like that's important. Okay, so I'm just thinking about which Spinos I actually need to breed right now, and I don't think I need to breed this female at all. Um, it's got, like, a lower health stat. It's got the same good stamina stat, like, it's got a good stam, but I've got that on the male anyway, so I don't need that. Uh, I don't care about oxygen or food, and it's got a better weight. I'll give it that, but I don't think I need a better weight. The other ones are still 581, and these two have also got the same weight, which makes breeding slightly easier. So, yeah, I think we might just breed these two together. And this one can go away. I'll just... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Make sure I've got the right one. Yes, that one. So I'm going to throw this female out first, so that then I can throw out the correct male. 
well, the only male, and then I can put the other female <sighs> away. Um, cool. All right, well, I'm just going to kick off some breeding. Like so. Does this need to be powered? I don't, should, no, I don't think it does. Okay. Anyway, I've got to go uh, put some shoes on because I'm running around like a fool with no shoes on. <laughs> um, I've also got to make two gates as well. I totally forgot to put gates on this. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side when we've got all of these stats into a breeding pair and one to imprint. So I had to bring you guys back in the middle of all this breeding that I'm doing because I have just gotten something crazy. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Um, for one, it's not this. So this is um, what we're looking at for the moment. It's got all of the good stats except for the food. Um, there's a slightly higher food set on the other one, on the, but it's on the male. So technically I can swap this in and breed it with that one to get the next one up anyway. But I don't really care because it's only food. Um, I probably will see what happens when I breed this one. If I get the lower food on a... Um, like I'll probably actually just try and get the lower food, to be honest, on on the next one that I breed, because I would not really care about it. It's also actually easier to feed the babies as well. Um, but anyway, that's not what we got. We got this. <laughs> we got a double mutation. Like, not too long after getting this. In health. Both mutations into health. Immediately. <laughs> so, we go straight to a two melee mutation. Like, dude, that is cool. Oh, man. So anyway, I'm going to be raising these up. Um, one of them's actually probably going to be my imprinted one. And the other one is just going to be uh, to chuck in the breeding line. Because, yeah, I am going to mutate these guys. So, yeah. Let me just uh, throw these dudes out here. And, yeah, I'm going to have to imprint one as we go. Which should be good. Uh, 23 minutes. I'm so glad I updated my imprint settings. They were so broken before. Oh, anyway, um, I'll see you guys later anyway, when we've, uh, we're on the flip side of all this breeding. All right, so it's a long while later again, and, uh, we are all done. We have our Spino right here. Look at that thing. Chill. <laughs> Double health mutation. Fully imprinted. Like, so, um, interesting. It's got, like, a water stat. I don't really, is that the water buff? I have no idea. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, yeah, fully imprinted, this is what we're looking at. 431% melee damage and 7,000 health. Uh, pretty decent. So we need to try and make a saddle for this dude. I haven't actually done that yet. Uh, I just should double check, actually. We don't have a Spino saddle, right? Nope. And I'd be able to see one pretty easily here. Nope, don't have one. Uh, don't have a blueprint, I mean, either. Okay, well, let's make one from here. Boom. I was hoping we had enough silica pearls. I haven't really been checking. To make sure we do. Uh, we also need a lot more cementing paste as well. But yeah. Let's uh let's put you there. And how do we want to throw this dude out? I'm thinking out here. Let's go for a bit of a bee of a bit of a menace around, I guess. Um, hang on. There we go. Good stuff, mate. And you've been sitting inside a soul ball for quite a while, so there is every chance you are going to be quite strong. Now, I don't really want to get you water buffed yet. But I do want to see how many levels you get. <laughs> I can't wait for that. There we go. Six levels already. Not bad. Yeah, I, I waited until daytime, by the way. I just wanted to make sure we could actually see what we were doing. So, there is a parasaur right there. You are my first target, mate. Um, can I just get through? So, this is our standard uh, quadrupedal. Is that what that means? Quadrupedal? damage when you're just standing on the ground? I don't know. And then, can we get headshot? No. That's cool. Alright, uh, anything else around here to fight? I will go to the mainland if we can. Um, I just want to go into bipedal mode. There we go. 225 damage with the bipedal. Whoa, hang on. That must have been a headshot. Oh, and I forget we also turn. <laughs> I love when they run on two legs. It's so silly. <laughs> oh, we just got water buffed. Okay. So, let me go back down onto all fours. And... What are you? Juvenile trike. Well, where's your parent? 
He was probably very mad at me right now. Do you even have a parent? What happened to your parent? Alright, anyway. 259 damage with the boost. Hopefully that wasn't actually a mate boosted dodo. Don't think so. 336. Oh, I don't trust these damage numbers. I don't really know what we're getting. 387 is like, is that a headshot or is that just straight up damage? I need something bigger. Alright, anyway, let's get back in the water. Um, actually, what about just hitting this with, uh, 258, it's just like our normal water damage. It's pretty good. You know, considering this thing didn't have an amazing stat, not bad. Um, uh, let me just kill you. Silly turtles. Get out of here. You must be a higher level. Can't wait to see what level pops in when we finish killing you. Oh, it's a 140. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that one's dead. I guess I killed it. Can I just finish killing you, please? Come here. Thank you. Alright. Uh, anything else we can be a menace on? I don't know. We should go check this blue drop, though. I love how fast we are with the water buff, too. Like, this is actually significantly quick. Yeah. Alright. Let me down. Let me get it. Uh, Megaloceros. Is that better my current? Sure is. Alright, looks like we're wearing hide, peeps. Uh, can I just grab everything but that? Okay, I should have just taken all and put that down. Alright, I'm gonna have to paint that now. Okay. Well, we're wearing hide now. That was a huge part of the episode right there. I'm glad you stuck around for that. <laughs> Alright, I just want to go rampage on a couple more things while we've got water buff and uh, while we're being a bit of a menace. Alright, let's kill this thing. Die! Alright, you know what? We should start leveling up. So what do we want to do first? Maybe... Oh, that's actually pretty decent. Oh, 10k already. Beautiful. I don't think I'll go any higher than 10k, but we are going to do a ton of uh, melee damage from here on out. I do love Spinos, they are pretty cool. Oh, can we, uh... Can we get into a water fight? <laughs> Come on, let me kill this Megalodon. Screw you, shark. This is my water. Get out of here. You're not even fighting me, you're running scared. Like a scared little bitch. Alright. There we go, we got him. Now there's actually Piranha trying to eat me. Do you realize how stupid you piranhas are? Right now. Like, do you understand what you're fighting? Alright, let's give ourselves a bit of melee damage. Uh... Alright, what's over here in the river? I could kill this, um... This little guy. Oh my god, I just hit him flying. There we go. We just got nine, uh... Organic polymer, which is kind of nice. Always in need of that. What else we got? Bronto, perfect. Oh, and a Baryonyx. Actually, what level are you? Hmm. <laughs> Do I... You know, I'm really trying not to have Baryonyx through this, um... Through this playthrough, so I actually feel like... I need to kill that thing. No, I'm just gonna leave it alive. I'm just gonna try not to, uh... Oh, now it's gonna be in the fight, isn't it? Man, I just hit it, didn't I? Yep. All right, never mind. It's going to die. All right, get into bipedal stance. Let's take it on. 400 damage. Oh, my goodness. I love these things so much. All right, we're about to lose our water buff. And 348. Still not bad. And we killed the Barry. Tragic day indeed. I love Barry Onyx. Too much for that to happen. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, let's just keep going on that. Oh, there's another Spino. We get to be the King Spino. Level 20. Go kill this thing. Get down on all four. Alright. Time to go destroy this thing. I have a water buff. Let's get up on bipedal stance. Come on. And boom. These things are cowards, eh? They run. Boom. Hi, bitch. <laughs> 
Oh, dude. All right. Look at that. Another three levels. Oh, that's right. Spinos give amazing XP. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Spinos. Screw you. Oh, hello. So do these guys. These guys give amazing XP as well. There we go. Nice. Got him. And there's another Spino. All right. What level are you? 55? That would have been the one of the ones we saw earlier. Right, let's go kill that dude as well. And then I feel like we should probably turn around and go back towards base. Can I kill that? Aha. We're killing all the things. Boom. Die, bitch. <laughs> Come on. One more hit. Oh, another more. Come on. Yes. Got him. Got him good. We got another two levels as well. Look at that. But Oh my god, another two levels. 500% melee damage. Not bad. You know, considering this thing isn't mutated yet. Yeah. All right. I got to go see how we do against this turtle now. 200 damage. No, 400 damage. There we go. Oh, man. This thing's spicy. This thing is really good. All right. Well, um, I guess it's time to get back towards base, guys. And uh, I think it's actually probably time to end it off here. So if you did find yourselves enjoying this one at any point in time, I really would appreciate if you can go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help me out. It also just tells me I've done something right and helps to see better at night. Plus, you could always consider subscribing, leaving a comment down below, turning on notifications. All of that is amazing stuff and helps me out so much. And I'm always appreciative of it. If you do want to go that step further, you can become a channel member to help support me. And uh, it's $1.50 a month and you get access to an exclusive video every Saturday night, which at the moment is Arc Fantasy Ascended on the Emissa map. 50 plus mods, all fantasy themed. Go check it out. It's amazing. And uh, of course, if you do, um, well, I actually hope you guys all enjoy whatever it is you're doing, whatever time zone it is. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye bye for now.